Carloe and Linnaeus work on the railway that weaves round lakes and the long mountain sides. Their coaches are filled with visitors. The engines are proud to run the line, come rain or shine. understood this and they spoke kindly to them. There's more than enough work for both of you on this railway. The manager is sending two more engines to help us run the line. Scarloe and Reneus were pleased with this news and promised to give the new engines a big welcome. When Sir Handel and Peter Sam arrived, they found they had much to learn. What a small shed, grunted Sir Handel. This won't do at all. We're much too good for this old shack. I think it's nice, said Peter Sam. Ha, huh, replied Sir Handel. What's that rubbish? Shh, said Peter Sam. That's Scarloe. He's famous. And then he whispered to Scarloe. I'm sorry, Scarloe. Sir Handel's upset now, but he's quite nice, really. Scarloe felt sorry for Peter Sam. Now, Sir Handel, said the fireman, I will get you ready for work. I'm tired. Let Peter Sam go. He'd love it. No, you're first. Sir Handel puffed away to fetch his coaches. He didn't like the look of them at all. Whatever next? Those aren't coaches, they're cattle cars. Screamed the coaches. What a horrid engine. It's not what I'm used to, claimed Sir Handel. He rolled to the platform just as Gordon arrived. Hello, who are you? I'm Gordon. Who are you? I'm Sir Handel. I've heard of you. You're an express engine. So am I, but I'm used to new coaches, not these cattle cars. Do you have new coaches? I see you do. We must have a chat. Sorry, I can't stop. We must keep time, you know. Gordon was speechless. Clouds of steam filled the air as Sir Handel huffed and puffed along the line. Sir Handel will, aren't you? 